Today on the Boot Guy, we're talking about the Air. It's six inch round breaker, non steel toe. So if you're looking for a lightweight, non-steel toe boot for lighter types of work, you know, for indoor stuff, for warehouse work, for hanging around the shop, whether you're an HVAC guy and you just sit around the shop most of the day just making parts for the guys, the Groundbreaker is an excellent shoe for you. The sole that Air uses has multiple compounds, so that means you're going to get different types of traction on different types of floors. And that's why I say that it's a great shoe for indoor work. Not saying that it's not good in the outdoors, but it's hard to find a really good work boot that actually performs well indoors on smooth surfaces. When Eric was designing the Groundbreaker, they used a full Goodyear welt all the way around. So that means that you're sitting on top of the sole and it's not glued to the bottom so you're kind of hanging over the sides. The leather that they're using is this beautiful oil tan brown leather. It's really a tough leather and they've put some work into it in order to get it kind of soft and supple. You can just tell that this leather started out a little bit stiffer than normal. So when you first pull them out of the box, they feel kind of greasy and almost oily. That's because it's mink oil. That's because it's ready to go. It's going to be water resistant right out of the box. Now this version of the Groundbreaker, the non-steel toe version, is not waterproof. But like I said, since it's oiled up, it's going to repel more water than it's going to suck up. Now inside the boot, Eric did a really nice job for a basic type of work boot. And this is truly a basic work boot. This is nothing really fancy. This is not one of those boots that they built for you know a certain type of job or, or a certain type of environment. These guys built this boot for more of like a general use type of boot. So, so it covers a lot of different types of work. So inside, the, one of the really nice parts is the tongue. It's a very soft leather that is then padded and back to this really nice polyester type material. This is one of those wicking type materials. So the boot's not gonna be this hot, sweaty mess. At the top of the collar, instead of it just being this one pad, this one little vein of padding, they broke it up into two sections. So it kind of displaces the pressure if you gotta tighten down your boot really tight. Laces, eyelids, well, basic eyelids, basic single piece pressed machine speed laces, but they're not the cheap pressed ones. These have got a little beef to them. You're not bending these out without having some sort of real pressure put on them. Now inside the boot, down at the heel cup section, they lined the whole heel cup all the way around with a really nice soft leather. And it's gonna feel really good as you're breaking this boot in. Instead of using a material back there like a polyester or something like that, that eventually you're just gonna wear through from friction from walking around a lot. And mind you, with this type of sole and this type of lightweight boot, they really did engineer this for somebody that's gonna be moving around a lot. So you'll find a nice hard footbed down in the bottom. So that means that you can use your orthotics inside this boot and get proper support from your orthotics if you have a pair from your podiatrist. As for an insole, what comes along with the boot is a 4LR insole. Now this is part of their whole comfort system. This works in accordance with this dual density sole right there. So this cushion and this cushion in the bottom of the boot, it makes for a really comfortable boot. Now about the sizing of the boot, they start at seven and they go up to 14 and they make it in a D width. So that means that's got pretty much everybody covered in that gamut. Now about the actual fit of the boot, well with this really nice pointed toe and is more of this streamlined fit, it almost feels more like a dress boot than it does a work boot, but don't let that fool you. This is a true work boot. They really did add a work sole to something that actually looks really nice when you're not at work. So that's the Eric Groundbreaker, six inch non-steel toe. Hey, if you've ever worn a pair of these Groundbreakers, please comment below. Let guys know what you thought about this boot and what type of environment you wore your Groundbreakers in. Hey, if you wanna know more about the Groundbreaker, please stop by thebootguy.com. There I'll have all kinds of detailed photos of this boot and a few other things that they make in the Groundbreaker series from Eric. 
please don't forget to hit my subscribe button below. It really helps out. And if you should have any boot questions about Eric boots or just work boots in general, please feel free to email me. All right, until the next time, I'm the Boot Guy. Thanks a lot for watching. Outside of letting you know that this is probably one of the most comfortable pull-on boots I've ever had on my foot, and I've had customers come in the same, the Air at Work Hall has got a lot of good people.